Let's watch this in full first. I was told there is sound. <laughs> okay. Cool. Since there's only this moment, I don't think you need sound in there. Just because again, if no, someone doesn't know, actually, you you warned me through the email that there's sound. I don't think we need it. Because you would have to have some other music or sounds or something where it's not just, you know, silence and suddenly the whistle and then that's it. So there's a bit more to it. And I don't think it's it's hugely needed in terms of the animation, the storytelling. He does look over and gets ready to grab that. Yeah. Animation-wise, that's a it's a cool idea. I like especially the idea of this and with that swing coming in being so heavy that it's going to pull him over for that. The thing that then seems a bit off, no pun intended, is that he really wants to stay on that. And it feels a bit like maybe this has to be a loop so that the foot stays put, but you actually have a step back. So it doesn't quite loop up. So to me, it's almost like it's a missed opportunity to take this and then have ah, this being so heavy that he actually takes this leg and steps over so with this step to here and then cross over so then the end pose would be here i know that's a huge change but that's just that's the first thing that that i see here and maybe this section is a bit too long until we get to here this is i can go up here because the uh, like you said the frame counter is a bit tiny for me, this starts at 1, and we're getting to the good stuff around 121. I mean, no, it's a bit sooner through here. It almost feels like you could start here and go, all right, let's get there. I understand that there's this moment of, okay, let's get ready. Hmm. All right. Now, imagine there's no sound. And this is just an exercise. It's not for a demo reel. Um, although you, do, you are asking what you could do once this is all done and polished for a, a demo reel. I think, why not? I think this is a, it's a cool moment here for sure. I would just make it a bit more complex to really show off the mechanics. It just feels like he would have to be, like he could be on a, on a log. This is my attempt at drawing a log. And then this, there's water here and this would be the horizon line. And then you have, so, you know, trees and the mountains in the background. And he is actually traveling forward on the water. And he needs to do something. I don't know, like, and it's, you know, why would he be dressed like this? But anyway, there would be a reason for him to be like this, right? Or this would be, for some reason, he could be on a tree, a couple branches, and he's just on that log. <laughs> and for some reason, someone is at his height and throws an axe. You know what I mean? It's a bit odd, but I think if you are like this and the character is is trying to stay there let me see where the other foot is so basically my idea wouldn't work because you know foot stays here um you could tweak it so that if you do go with the log idea that maybe that foot is back here you know he's trying to be a bit more balanced which could be cool because that log could be rotating a little bit or moving around he would have a bit more issues with balance but again it changes the shot a lot basically as an exercise it's okay, but I don't know if you need all of this. Because I think the main thing is this moment. And there's a bit of a pause hiccup right through there. Just that moment as he goes over and then rests a bit for too long. And then something goes over. Does that change to me? feels too sharp right there. And then you have some moments as he goes back where it feels a bit like stop and go, stop and go, stop and go. I like that there's some texture to it, that it's not a very smooth, even move back from here to here. But watch out that it's not too hiccupy. There's just some moments where it gets a bit fast through there and then slow to fast here. Oh, that feels a bit better. But then you come to a bit of a sudden stop here. It's not a linear, bam, hitting a wall thing, but it's just a bit fast to slow where the spacing it's fast, and then suddenly we switch to this. I think that transition could be a bit smoother. I do like that. I didn't have another boom into this. 
it just feels a bit harsh where the couple of things a i would keep the axe a bit like this in terms of silhouette so that we don't spend too much time on something that flat i think it would be a bit more appealing to see a bit more of that shape i wouldn't really this feels almost like is he going to hit himself i think i will keep that arc out maybe like this It'd be cleaner get away from the face so you might have to bring out then that forearm and then the axe is like that so that when you are here again it's not so flat towards us there would be i mean you have to kind of be careful with the solid here but the axe here the risk could be a bit higher and then you have that out like that if that makes sense i hope that makes sense you got your forearm upper arm still not completely overlap but we understand the structure so basically that arm will come down here and then you have your upper arm here there and then here is your axe that's my that's my fantastic drawing but just a cleaner silhouette than that like that feels better i will go a bit flatter with this again like that's better here we have a little bit of a i know the forearms here <clears throat> It's a bit tricky to understand. Maybe it's some of the shading can be changed, but I would push that a bit more to have that a bit more like that. I mean, could be interesting. Nah, I was just thinking, what if it's all the way back here? And he's really resting it, but I think that, which is a bit of a, a, a bigger pushed arm pose, could be okay, so that the axe is here. But the main thing on this is that, boom, this just feels a bit harsh as in the whole root going down. It feels like you want to do a squat versus if there is this coming over in terms of weight, I think it would impact. What I would do is it would impact the shoulder first, shoulder down, and then it would be more of a chest over, like this downwards, it has a little tilt over there with some correction in the head and then a little bit of the root down and that's it. And you can you know, grab a backpack or something back of books or something and like i would act it out see what that means when you have something that heavy see how it's going to be more of a let me go back here something like that so this lens here is more of a like this with a little bit of down but it's mostly weight on this shoulder down and the body would move over this way kind of like that versus down here where just the whole wood comes down And for this, I would probably take that hand and bring it out just a bit more so you don't have a tangent there. But if you want to keep the whole thing, again, since you mentioned that it's an exercise, I would then have this moment and maybe, again, you want to make sure that you don't rely on sounds just in case someone doesn't have the sound on. So this could be more of like a head up, like, hey, I'm ready. And then this happens, and he's really good at grabbing this without looking. <laughs> and this also feels a bit... I would probably go and hold this for a couple of frames, like a big inhale, and then exhale. But watch out how these come down here. It's a bit harsh. It's a bit of a... Not a linear key, but it still drops and stops a bit quickly. I will go inhale and have that a bit softer. Just a little bit, you can have a little bit of a dangle in those arms, just a bit. Same thing with the head, so it doesn't come down too, too fast. Here, I would just expand on this, and you can do a little bit of a head thing, and whatever you want to do acting-wise, totally up to you, but I would keep that a bit more in terms of the pantomime realm and not um, worry too much about the sound. And then those eyes, I mean, it's really, I would cheat them and maybe make those pupils a bit bigger so we can really see them. Gets a bit lost, especially through here. They're so tiny, so I would make these a little bit bigger. And then that dart would be, hold, 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 you would see the eyes a bit more and then really dart over one or two frames. This feels a bit too slow. It's a bit of a slow dart over there. And again, kind of the hiccupy. this, it's like the arm goes first. And the head has a bit of a move over and then actually stops and counters and then suddenly goes over there and through all of that it almost feels like the head is a bit sticking into the space you can see this here as this goes over 
it sticks a bit here. It has a bit much of a drag. I would reduce that and just smooth that out a bit. There's a bit, there's a bit much of a stop and go, and then the big move over there. Again, I like the texture. It. I like that there's some changes in there. I would just smooth that out a little bit, and also same thing in that arm. You can see how that arm goes like a little bit slow at the beginning. Then see patient, but then we we stop a bit harshly. So you go out this way. It's a bit harsh. I would soften that turn. And then you have a really fast move here. And then it's suddenly small through there. So again, you have like fast, 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 small, 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 small. So that transition I would smooth out. I would also probably reduce that hand just because it feels like we're really exaggerating that turn and drag in the wrists. I would keep that a bit more casual, even through here. Right through there, you're moving that arm and then countering with the wrist rotation where we give a bit of a sticky point pivoting off here. So just reduce that amount of that rotation, that wrist. But again, I like the idea a lot of a grab. And now that all of this is here, that final swing and drop here makes him do oh, that second piece. Just I would just make it less hiccupy, but the idea is really cool. And then I'm, I'm just greedy and I feel like, oh, well, that's cool. But now that the character is so like that imbalanced, I mean, it's still balanced, actually. Play into this thing that he's actually in an imbalanced state to then do a crossover step. And then into that. I think that'd be really cool. Because then you would really show nice mechanics. I just don't know if you need on a reel, if you need all of this, because it really takes a while into that i think it might be you could do something where you're here and then you get straight to this and imagine then you're blending from here to i mean it's all cool that he doesn't look but it could be something where you're here again just to make it complicated but this is your starting frame you do this i would i would nix this just do that and when you're here he can start to bring his arm up like that and then as you're done during this moment here that's when he looks back at us and then you end up in this pose and then this happens i know he kind of changes the thing of well i'm looking and i don't need to look again it's totally up to you if you want to keep that or not to me it's more like a compression of time of it would be cool to do this and do like a nice little acting bit, a pantomime thing. And then when he turns, by the time he's done, that arm is already there. And then this happens. Just again, just to shorten the shot, because we are at 280 frames. It's fairly long, so I feel like there's a big chunk. I mean, again, from an animation point of view, in terms of mechanics, if you watch all this, it's all cool. It's okay. Ooh, that's cool. That's a cool mechanics way aspect. But this is what here we're almost halfway through. And that's that's my concern. If you put this on a reel that we're spending a lot of time on this. So either that whole beginning would be a bit more interesting. This could be like like maybe he could be here. It's, it's very way too complicated, but he'll be here taking one or two steps, then stopping and again overlapping stuff where he comes to a stop and then as he stops, he looks already. And then does this, I mean, so you have already more interesting mechanics of a step, step, turn. And then this happens. And then the crossover step into that. Because then you have a lot of really interesting weight mechanics. And then it would be really cool. Other than that, if this was for real, I would cut this maybe even like here, 96. Go straight into... Boom. And then you can have some expression here of maybe like a little smile, like, ha, didn't catch me off balance there. And into this, you know, kind of pushing this. And I know you, you just wrote an email. You haven't done the facial stuff yet, but that's something to consider. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. So little things here in terms of mechanics and timing and spacing. And technically also some bigger changes, but that's up to you. I don't want to force that on you. So you'll let me know. All right. Thanks. All right. 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.